What you said the other day, you, you, about, what was your expression about errors? Did you just assume mow a lawn or something? Uh, it's like mowing a lawn, and it's what it's. <laughs> Hundreds of people go to Everest. It's still, it's still, it's still the big magnet. It's, <laughs> it's the ma <laughs> It's the magnet. It's the magnet. So, and whether the climbing has anything to do with it or not. So I've never been over there. I've been told that uh, this whole phrase that Kanzler used: "The higher you get, the higher you get." So when you go up there and uh, take oxygen away from your brain, you probably get high in a way that you can with drugs down at sea level, but. I, it still doesn't interest me. I, uh, I would like to go over there. I'd like to walk around the Himalayas and do some trekking, go to Nepal, meet some of the folks. Uh, but I'm not interested in putting one of those 80-pound or 160-pound or whatever heavy pack you have to carry and trash my way up a snow slope. Um, they're technically difficult. Ice climbing involved also, and uh, I don't like that. I don't like to be cold. So I'm just a I'm just a nice warm weather, fair weather, dry rock climber. No no big deal. Is that know. a specialty within climbing? Rock, sure it is. Rock climbing oh sure it is. That's why I'm suggesting that you should go to, to Yosemite and see how specialized it has become. I think you're wasting your time talking to me. There are uh, the the level of performance that rock climbing is so astounding these days that uh, it's just very much worth your time. You'd rather should be doing that. Uh, yeah, but she was. Uh, so. <laughs> you know, they're attracting bugs. I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking at the old lights. You were the first one to do it, though, weren't you? To climb oh, and no. Or what was it? No, I, I'm just I, I, some sort of midway in the evolution of. You know, some, you know, the tradition of climbing Yosemite goes back hundreds of years. It's just, uh, just part of it. Well, Chuck, you didn't get into ever climbing book about U.S. climbing <laughs> by, by uh, going out there and hanging around the climbers camp or whatever was happening. Yeah. You're famous for a reason. Yeah, well, it was a perfect time to be climbing in Yosemite, uh, from my point of view. It was uh, it was still relatively uncrowded, and uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a respectable thing to be doing. The media was not interested. You, there was no way. It was uh, the Park Service was an antagonist. We had nothing but trouble with them. They had nothing but trouble with us. But it was something we wanted to do, and there were very few of us doing it. There was a time when I probably knew most of the climbers in California. Uh, but there were still a lot of things to be done in Yosemite, and that happened to be when I started climbing. With this little background of, as a child, wanting to climb on boulders, found Which my way to Yosemite Valley. The first and time wasn't exactly a boulder, was it? What, in Yosemite? Captain. Oh, that was that was several years after I started climbing in Yosemite. How'd that come about? I mean, who had the idea? And, and, uh... Warren Harding started it all. Hi, Don. <laughs> Pull up a boulder. Pull up a boulder. <laughs> suffer Hi, through. Hi. Suffer Hi. through it with Hi. me. Hi. Hello, Don. How Don. Are you? Don. Uh, Pull me up to the top of the Grand four years ago this weekend or about this today. I is there guess. Right? Yeah, sure is. He's the only guy I could have done it. Too. <laughs> no, thanks. <coughs> no, I know they're good. I don't want any. Good. 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 Sure. What do you, what do you see? Oh, I'm living uh, black and white here. Is is the dog in? No, uh, just just my just just that. Living legend. <laughs> Just, just the living legend. Where'd the dog go? Good. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Go see Chuck. Yeah, go see Chuck. Go see Mr. Gup. Please go Mr. see Gup. Chuck. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch.
<laughs> That's a beautiful dog. That's a friend in the Air Force who eats flowers. Eats what? Flowers. Oh, flowers. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Sure. Why not? Could you do me a favor one more time? White balance, because the light's changing. Okay. What are we talking about? We were talking about Yosemite. And how all that started. And uh, about the Rangers. So. Uh, the, I, is your, your uh, major climb there, South A Wall, is that right? Sure. Oh, I know what, I, I was just asking how that started. Whose idea it was? How you planned for it? Well, it was it was um, several different people who had the same idea, and um, so we got together and climbed it. Royal Robbins, Tom Frost, and myself. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Did you know it was going to be that long? In time, you mean? How much yeah. time it took? Yeah. yeah, we figured it would, well, how'd it would you take that long. I mean, how many? How'd you figure you could go so many feet a day, or uh, you must have had a thing with the food? And well, we already had climbed the the um, the nose, the south face, and that took a week. So we had a, a rough idea that's probably about how long anything else would take. Something like a week, ten days. And, and somebody else had already put up that route. Mm -hmm. So you done that. And you saw the possibility over there in the middle. Mm hmm But you didn't have any... Uh, um, I was just trying to think of something I'd read about where somebody went over to a uh, camping ground or something and said let's maybe you told me the story and let's go do it and, and do it. Oh no it wasn't that fast to, to we planned for it, got provisions for it. We figured it would take about ten days and what kind of provisions do you take on a climb like that? Well the big problem is water. Um, we had to take enough water for three people for ten days, so we so we had uh, well, we had a hundred pounds of water probably, hundred and fifty pounds. Any kind of special food? Nothing special. Gorp. What? Gorp. What's that? Just this mixture of uh, raisins, chocolate, jelly beans, and. Other things to eat for lunch. Cheese, chocolate. Things that won't spoil. Things that won't spoil. Things that don't have to be cooked. What was the Just some what, dry food. What was the funniest thing or, or, or the scariest thing that happened on that? The funniest or the scariest? Well, both. I can't remember anything funny. Um... And I can't remember anything scary either. Sorry. What about? Uh, it was a it was a routine climb in the sense that it was just long. It just took a long time, but uh, there was nothing special about it that uh, we wouldn't the precautions we took were the same that we had would take on a one day climb. Nothing. Do you do much special. of that anymore? Mm mm. Why not? Uh, because now I'm involved in guiding, and that's a completely different game than climbing. How so? Dealing with beginners, uh, people who've never climbed before, and trying to relate something to get to the top of something to climb. And they have to be retaught those same things that they already knew as children. Just Take your kids out for a picnic someday and watch them. First thing they're going to do is try to get to the top of something. If there's a boulder in the picnic ground,